And welcome to lesson number five, Soft Cell Electrical School. What is single phase electricity? Single phase electricity is a cycle of voltage that operates in the same time phase. This would be a single time phase, which in the United States is 1 60th of a second. It comes in two flavors or sizes, 120 volts and 240 volts. There is no such thing as 220. No 220. So we're just going to get rid of that. If you recall, I told you the alternating current goes back and forth. This is represented on this sine wave here. When it goes forward, it peaks out at 120 volts. When the electrons come back, it zeroes out in the middle of the phase. On its return, it goes to 120 volts. And then once again, on its way forward, it zeroes out, peaks out at 120 volts, goes back to zero. So you've got 120 volts pulsing at 60 cycles per second. On three phase, you have three distinct sources of power in three distinct time zones. That's what makes it three phase. I don't want to confuse you any more than that, so we're just going to remove this from the picture and move on. So this is 120 volts at 60 cycles. So I told you it comes in two sizes, 120 and 240 volts. How do we get those two sizes? Well, we have to change this picture right here. But if you recall the seesaw, that's one way of looking at it. I like to use the seesaw because it gives you a better physical understanding of what's going on. Now at 120 volts, you have 120 volts pushing in one direction on the wire. It then pushes back, and it does that 1 60th of a second, or 60 cycles. At 120 volts, you can figure the opposite side of the seesaw is your neutral, or the resistance that allows this 120 volts to flow through the hot. Remember, I told you not to think in terms of positive and negative. That's for direct current. Alternating current is hot and neutral, or ground. So, you've got 120 volts pushing down. You've got an equal amount of resistance in your neutral pushing back. On the seesaw, one complete cycle up and down is 1 60th of a second or 60 cycles. So, this is how you get 120 volts. That's size 120. So, how do we get 240 volts? Well, we start right here by adding what's called another leg. It's 120 volts that's going in the opposite direction. Like I said, this is a 120 volt diagram of 60 cycles. So on the seesaw, to get 240 volts, you basically have two different legs, two different sources of voltage or power that are going back and forth, 120, 120, and that equals 240. Now let's change this so you understand what's going on with the phasing. This is single phase, 120 volts. We're going to change this to single phase, 240 volts. We're going to do that by adding another leg.
first question you might get is, okay, isn't this two-phase? No, it's not two-phase because we're still operating within the same phase cycle. So this is a single phase. They're just balanced out. So basically, you get 240 volts by having two different sources of 120 volts on the same phase that counterbalance each other. Okay, so I'm assuming that you understand the concept of the seesaw, the back and forth of the 240. On one half of a cycle, the power is going in opposite directions. On the other half, they switch directions. So they feed off of each other. Now for comparison's sake, and to try to prep you for three phase, I'm very briefly going to show you a three phase sign configuration. You have three points of power. What you have is you have three distinct time phases. Start and stop, start and stop, start and stop, start and stop. If this were single phase, this would be 240 volts because you see they come together on the same phase. Okay. In three phase, you have three different sources. You have three distinct start and stop times of your back and forth motion of your electricity. Let's finish up this lesson by showing 120 volts and 240 volts. 120 volts has a single leg at 60 cycles per second. It requires a neutral to balance itself. A 240 volt single phase has two legs. That's two 120 volt legs. Okay. It requires no neutral because these legs balance each other. They're the same phase because the start and stop time is, is the same. It's single. Just like it is here. So this is 120 times per second. This is 120 times per second. And that is what single phase power is. 120 volts, one leg, 240 volts, two legs. 120 volts, a return neutral or ground. 240 volts, they feed back on each other. That concludes this lesson. And three phase, I believe I'm going to divide into two different lessons. Hope this helped you out. Thanks.